so um i want to share this with you guys insta blog insta blog insta blog shared it as well right so uh, and this is a post by the police warning bloggers or would you say threatening bloggers i don't know let me read it to you guys it says i have warned the so-called evil <laughs> sorry i'm not supposed to laugh he even said so-called listen to this i have warned the so-called bloggers and celebs which one is celebs 50 again i don't know what uh, uh, so, uh, uh, um, i think uh, to maybe okay to allow us to do our job they should not use mobat death to cruise or mobilize followers they need to wait for the outcome of the investigation anyone who makes comments in quote um, in bracket affirmatively on the issue might be invited by the police or any security agencies to co uh, <laughs> okay to corroborate or testify in the case this is a threat well it looks like it you'd better be careful and allow the and allow the law to take its course the law is wide and complex and could with comma at the same time be flexible be warned they don't they want to now <laughs> Be warned. That is his post. Please. <laughs> so, <laughs> and this person commented. Look at this comment. This comment said, nobody is afraid of police. Inv uh, this was a, this comment said, nobody is afraid of police invitation. So stop making it sound like he said. <laughs> Nigeria's not best. Uh, and this one says, but you didn't, you didn't, I think meant to do, do your work when he filed petition. When they see that uh, petition that his life was under threat young blood might still be alive today if you all do what you are supposed to have done if they can't threaten, if not before bloggers this news wouldn't have blown out like this if not for content creators bloggers and news outlets this police will not even get involved by now okay now this one says <laughs> sorry Sorry, this one says, Pick fooling, pick fooling. <laughs> uh, this one says, Where was the police when the petition? Oh, so where was, the, where was the police when he petitioned you people that his life was under threats? You see, is it not this? Okay, it wasn't taken seriously, and at the end, he is dead now. You are, you are threatening people not to talk or make comments, sir. With all due respect, if your team had acted swiftly, Mubad will still be alive. Where's the lie in that? There's no lie in that. Okay? So, I don't know. This one says, Now the police be this way go arrest Naira Mali, Naira Mali and Sam Larik for questioning. Right? Okay. So, the person does not believe that there will be justice. This is what that comment basically said. Let me read you guys what a... Bloggers and celebrities have been warned by the first... Public relations officer uh, Olumuiwa Adejobi to avoid interfering with the investigation into the death of the late musician Ilevi Oluwa Aluba, also known as Mubad. Dear Muiwa and um, Just Lover tagged uh, tagged him. Stop threatening the people or bloggers. Don't be unfortunate. Sorry, don't be unfortunate. You get picking too. Not one, not one, not two. You even get. With side cheek, eh? Any critic, Parijo, eh? I never get your time, ni. Don't be unfortunate. Stop this nonsense of putting fear in people's mind. Allow people ask questions. Allow people be involved. If you want to do, uh, be, be, be involved. If you want to do a thorough and transparent investigation, um, telling bloggers and people to stop interfer to interfering is shady. You can't. You don't already they look like cover up. Or Abi already. Abi, you pray to bury all your own children too who you are i repeat don't be unfortunate uh, um receive sense i think meant to say receive receive sense the, the whole world is fully involved in this case you can't shut everyone uh, out even the autopsy you are uh, you all are carrying out at this point we don't trust it no more we will request for independent autopsy that, let's be honest though uh, in, uh, independent autopsy carried out by our own trusted and reliable medical pr uh, practitioners because this case if like telling a kid oh maybe i think meant to say is it's like telling is like telling a killer to investigate another killer mm -hmm. of course the case will be messed up you all are the one using this boy's these boys for una evil work so we understand because if not mobad is 
a good citizen of Nigeria. He even filed a petition against his oppressors until he lost his life. Moyiwa Oni, okay, this is Yoba. I'm not very good at reading Yoba. I understand a bit of Yoba, but I, I can't read it. I'm sorry. If you try to act funny, you go collect water, water. Don't you dare. If you shut all other media houses up, you know you can't shut Jim's lover up. Eje Koma Bawa make una de come. Okay, mabo. Okay, that's good. Okay. Eja, eja, eje, eje, kam mabowa. Make una de come. Any, I can't, let me not butcher it. Una go wound anyhow. I repeat, allow people ask questions. We will never back down on this case. Not on your order. Not on the president or the self. This is the end of oppression. We jointly come. One of the best things that's happened to, let me speak for Nigerians. Is social media. It has empowered people a lot. Okay, he said we. He said we jointly come together. Uh, we jointly come together and say no. Okay, for those that do not know about this petition, let me read you guys the petition. Okay, uh, Mobad's petition that the police did nothing about when he was afraid for his life. Daddy bullied him, beat him up. He wrote a petition. Let me read it for those of you that may, that may not have seen it. It's not a long read. read you can see it to help you guys understand. Understand the same police that is coming to tell people to shut up. They didn't do anything when this boy complained to them. So this is this is it. Aloba promise or let me uh, sorry or let Dimeji. Okay, he said petition of threat of life, malicious damage of properties, uh, value the sum of five million naira, assault, occasioning harm, oppression and conduct likely to cause. Breach of peace against uh, uh, Sam Larry. He's bringing his petition against Sam Larry. Elugushi. Uh, Elele. Uh, uh, Obale. Obale and others. He now said, I, of the above name and address, that is him, uh, uh, Mobad. That is his legal name there. Is uh, 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 um, Aloba Promise uh, uh, Olamide. He said, I, I, a law abiding citizen and a musician bring to your notice the assault and threat to my life by the above mentioned persons on 25th june 2023 while having a video shoot with another artist by name zlatan ibile right the above mentioned persons a lot of you a lot of us have seen that video where he was they were shooting a music video and they came and attacked them there that's what he was referring to he now said um the above mentioned persons num numbering about 15 led by sam larry elugushi El Elegushi uh, invaded the premises with dangerous arms such as guns, cutlasses, etc. Where I was shooting music video and scattered the whole process of the shooting. Uh, damaged equipment I was using for the shooting valued about 5 million naira and started threatening my life, which in the process they became violent and assaulted me, which I sustained, which I sustained, I sustained injuries but narrowly escaped. Attached to this petition is the said pictures. Total amount I paid for the shooting they have destroyed is 8 million naira, right? He said, which is non-refundable. However, during the assault, they were boasting that they work for Oba Elegushi and, they, and that they have been asked to deal with me for reasons best known to them, which till date they are still threatening to kill me if seen. Sir, I call on your good office to save my life. Do you know what it is for somebody to beg another person to save their life? That is the job of the police. This young man begged them to say they didn't do. Now they want to come and tell bloggers to shut up. So if you guys could not do your job, you know why I believe they want. Do you know why they think they want to shut bloggers up? Because I think they want to do mago mago, and they don't want bloggers to 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 make ping when the mago mago is done. That's what I think. I have a right to think. Is what I think. So what I think may not be fact, but that is my thinking. Okay? Look, oh, sir, I call, on your, uh, I call on your good office to save my life from the above-mentioned persons and bring them to book. Thank you, for you. Thank you for your timely intervention, which never happened, though. Intervention never happened. That is how uh, mobile life ended. The timely intervention I asked for never happened. You guys, watch a video I posted yesterday. I'll put the link. And you will see step by step the process he went through to prevent the, the, the threatening to continue. The amount of details this guy gave about what he was going through. 
Okay, he says, yours sincerely, uh, Aloba, promise, Olamide. This guy that he was, people he was accusing, they, nothing was done to them. I don't, <laughs> you see guys, you see this story we're sharing. You see this story. I believe, this is what I believe, that, that they want to shut bloggers up. So that Tobaya, when it happens, eventually what is about to happen, bloggers will not speak. What, what do you mean? If you would say, you know, people should, have, people should not spread false information. That I understand. But basically telling them, leave the police to do their job. Not to, basically saying not to talk at all. That's basically what it is. This is the oppression we're talking about. You know, this is the, the same problem. I mean, so the same uh, 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 stuff, uh, oppression that we're talking about in that country called Nigeria. That they even said when there was a counterclaim against Mubad, police invited Mubad to come and answer. You see that Nigeria is about who know who. So police officers, it depends on who know them. Anyways, I saw that update. I said, let me share with you guys. I don't know what your opinions are about this one. Bloggers, now don't hear. They don't want, <laughs> they don't want you now. <laughs> so, you guys know I laugh a lot. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> so I don't know. Whatever your opinions are about this, uh, please add your opinions in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. And you know why? Let me tell you guys why I think. This is my what I'm thinking. Of. People, a lot of content creators, bloggers have now started showing people that the police failed. So people are no longer saying, okay, the nurse that gave injection, Naramali and Samlari bullied him, all of that. People have now, you know, realized that, okay, police, you guys failed too. If you had done your job, maybe he will be alive today. And I believe that that's why they don't want to come and start a, a warning bloggers to be, to be quiet. Anyway, I've shared it. I don't know what your opinions are. Whatever your opinions are, please put them in the comment section below. Uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.